Hey my lovelies, it's your girl Mel. In today's video, we will be heading to Kanoku Market in Priory St. Anne. It is an open air farmer's market that meets artisanal fair aimed at celebrating all things Jamaican made, grown and sewn. And we were here to help our dear friend Marcia Henry, who we all have met on a previous video of mine before. So before we head inside while watching this video, please just keep in mind the beauty in all the pieces you'll be seeing in this video today is that they are all made in Jamaica. So this is not no made in China kind of stuff. Okay, guys? <laughs> hey, my lovelies. We made it to the location. We're packing out right now. So we're going to set up and then I'll show you the rest. All right, guys. So basically, once you arrive on the property, there are rows and rows of tents. Each vendor chooses a spot where they would like to be and basically they just set up shop. So we started off by setting up our little area. We had a few things that we had to hang up. So we put up some wired mesh between the columns of the tent and then began placing our items where we wanted them to go. Most of these pieces that we are presenting here today, you have already seen if you have watched my interview I did with Marcia Henry. So basically, this is just me, you know, fixing up the table, putting the stuff where they are supposed to go. Well, where they're supposed to go in my mind, of course. <laughs> but I was basically responsible for this little table. Um, so I did my little thing, you know, set it up nicely <laughs> and of course mommy helped as well You know, she put up all the clay masks and stuff that we had here so once we Placed the items in a nice little way, you know Which would be nice and visible to everyone who's walking by um me and mom eventually decided to take a little walk, you know, around the, the, the property and look at the other vendors and what they had to offer. So this is a quick glimpse at how the tables looked and everything hanging. And this was basically what the people saw once they came by our little table. So one of the first spots we checked out was this leather stand. So they had everything made with leather. They had sandals, they had bags and, you know, I think purses and some other nice items. And I really love that red, green and gold one, which I found quite interesting. Then after that, we saw this pottery table so you know mommy was conversing with them but they had a nice little design to their stuff there was one specific thing that i really liked i think i will be showing you that soon but it's like an imprint of like leaves and stuff oh there it is yeah tropical leaves imprinted in the the pottery so that's my kind of vibe if you know me you know that i love tropical leaves over everything <laughs> After that, we saw this little tile place that had a lot of um, designs on tiles and stuff. And I really, really love these specific ones because they are represented Jamaica. So just the aki and breadfruit and stuff like that, like all the typical things that you would have in Jamaica. So just imagine you put one of these nice pieces in your kitchen or something like that. So definitely beautiful stuff. So here we have another vendor that had really really interesting jewelry pieces and I eventually found out that she's also a subscriber to the Mixed Beauty Mail Clan so that was awesome but I really really like the uniqueness of her pieces. Wait, are you the girl on TikTok that sings something or not? Not on TikTok, on YouTube. Yeah, Mixed Beauty Mail. So I'm sure 
sure you could hear how much background noise there was so that's why this is mainly a voiceover kind of video because we don't want to get in trouble with youtube guys but we eventually moved on and we found this um artist who is also a subscriber <laughs> amazingly we met a few subscribers there but he basically, you know, um, painted light switches and stuff like that and had some other art pieces and he also had a lot of tile designs. Oh, those are tiles? Art and tiles. It's a tile actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you can put them in your ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pausing the video here because i'm sure my clan wants to see this a genius marco andrea nikisha inga yosh <laughs> this is specifically pause for y'all <laughs> okay so this is the name artist that I just showed you a while ago um, him being a subscriber and all he actually gifted us this tile piece here and said because y'all love the river so much I want to give you guys this piece which I found very very lovely and kind of him and I absolutely love it guys like this is really really nice so this artist here was quite an interesting one as well because he worked mainly with wood and sand and one of his main points was that he got sand from all over Jamaica so anyone buying these pieces actually gets Jamaican sand into their home so where's the Portland sun? do you know Portland, the sand different? Portland. you don't have no Portland sun that's not good so of course we can't have the music playing in the background but he was saying that the first sand was from Likilwochi, the black one was from Clarendon Milk River Bath, then Sandy Bay in Hanover, Green Island in Hanover and that one in on the face there is mixed sand which he used all the different colors and mixed them together and then he also had um, the sand from St. Elizabeth. Yeah, you need to get some Portland sun here. Brings you luck. <laughs> we're, we're only saying that because we're from Portland, so. <laughs> so as you can see, he has a whole lot of different pieces, animals to, you know, words and sayings, and then these sun clocks and stuff like that. So I really like the pop of color in between. So mind you guys, all of those pieces are wood on the inside and then just basically coated with a sand layer or you know the pieces that are exposed are still the wood just colored and of course mommy discovered some elephants elephants being her favorite animal so she was you know checking them out <laughs> and asking for prices and stuff already because she's like hmm should i add one to the collection but yeah i was just there basically checking out the other stuff um there were a lot of different different stuff for sure even this guitar here or the stingray 
you know quite interesting stuff for sure something that i haven't really seen a lot of so you know when there are unique pieces they definitely pique my interest a lot and this was quite interesting as well he took like actual red stripe bottles so the beer and put some sand on there so 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 are you going to make him dot the eye? Huh? 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 I want to keep it that way. Do you want the eye dotted? Huh? 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 Do you want the the other eye dotted? With the black? Oh yeah, you can dot this. Well, we were waiting for him to dot the eye of the elephant because mommy was taking him home. You know, I got like a close up of some more pieces. So here we have a couple making out and then we have some birds making out. <laughs> so yeah, um, I definitely think there's a little bit for everyone here. So that is something good. Like it's not just one sided. And here we were at a different um, table. So they had a lot of small pieces, you know, kind of um, touristy kind of stuff, I would say. And oh, I found this calabash that was used like a lampshade that I really, really liked. Imagine the light peeking through those holes. bunch of other people but i honestly couldn't you know capture all of them there were also a lot of people that were selling like plants and stuff and yeah this will just basically be the end of what i was able to show you i you know was also busy at our little um table so i wasn't walking around the whole time just recording stuff so yeah this will be pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i know it's short but this is all i could capture for you guys because there was music playing the entire time so i really wasn't able to record but i'll see you in my next video bye oh but before i end the video look at my three little plants i got there my cacti so i got three of them you know these will be in my room but i also got these from the market so just wanted to show you guys say hi to my new babies